hi you guys welcome back today is going to be a diy day so if you're ready to see how my projects turn out make sure to keep watching If you're new here, my name is Angel. I share all things lifestyle, DIY, home, mommy life. If that interests you, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. I love to have you join the family. So today I wanted to do some DIY projects. I wanted to turn some of my old vases into more of like a ceramic or matte type of vase that matches my decor style that I'm trying to go for now. So I took some of these weird colored ones and we're gonna spray paint them. So I got a ton of spray paint and we're gonna compare them. So I tried to make sure to get all matte spray paints and some texture just to see if I could get that, you know, ceramic feel. So again, my goal, the vibe I'm trying to go for are like uh, ceramic vases or vases, however you pronounce it, but I'm from the country. So, and like matte type of finishes. So those are the type of spray paints I chose. I got a variety. I'm gonna test out. I'm gonna share with you how I feel like they spray and also the end result and which one I think are the best and which ones are my favorite for working with and dealing with. I'm trying to just redecorate my house and find some inexpensive ways to do it so this video is all about spray painting these faces to see if i can repurpose these faces so keep watching and let's see how they turn out Show me what 
Okay, so this is the second coat of everything I'm gonna go through and tell you how the products work and what I feel. So this one, and it looks amazing. Let me see if you can get a better view from this side. Look at that, that is beautiful. That is so nice. And that's this one. This was easy to spray. Let me show you the top handle. So this is the top handle. Very easy to spray. Look at there, no spray paint on that. Y'all see that? Now I got spray paint on my hands. I'm gonna tell you where they came from. It wasn't this one. This one didn't get clogged. Look at that. Didn't get clogged. Very easy to spray. And it's still a really full bottle. So I know I'm gonna do some more projects because I love that. I'm not gonna touch it because I just did the second coat of that. But look at that, very pretty, very pretty. So let's go to the second one here. So this one was that pink face, remember? So this is the Rust-Oleum Chalks and Chiffon Cream. Now I had to do a lot of coat into cover. You can still see some of the pink under it, not a lot, but let me see. You can see a little bit, but I had to do a lot. It's not bad. The top of it looks like this. It's okay, the spray was okay too. It did get clogged some, not a lot as some of the others, but that one's okay, it wasn't bad. The best was definitely that as far as the spray bottle, the, like coming out of the sprayer. I had absolutely no issues with that one. In my opinion, when this dries, I'm gonna show you the end products, but as of right now, that's my number one. So far, that's the best sprayer, definitely, and the best look now. And that one, second coat, look at it, it's already chalky. So, um, I don't like the gloss. We'll see how it dries. This one, ooh. <laughs> now, I will say the base on this one, I had spray painted it prior, like a few years ago, but I've spray painted bases so many times, you guys. So, some spray paints hold up and some don't. This one did not. And uh, this one also got clogged a little bit. Not a lot, but it did get clogged a little bit. But yeah, this is the second coat. And you can kind of see, you know, it did not go well. So, there you go. I'm not gonna do it again, I'm done. Just doing two runs on these and see how they do, hold up. You know, this could definitely work if something wasn't spray painted prior, but that's that one. That one wasn't spray painted prior, it was just a regular base, you know, purchased. And that's how that one turned out, but you can still see through it. I don't like that you can see through it, but it probably need another coat. Look like it's starting to dry. I mean, these are the same brands, by the way, just a different color. I would say try to compare it to that one instead of this one. Let's move on to this one. And so these two were in the same paint, and that's this Rust-Oleum Texture. And so this is how it looks. I'm not gonna touch it. Again, I just sprayed the second round, but it's beautiful. I love the color, same as this big face here. I love the color. It already looks matte just from spray painting the second coat. So once it dries, it'll probably dry just a little bit more matter, but it's already perfect and great. I love the color. This is the top four, so that's the color. And it's pretty true to color. It did clog some, so that's an issue with this one. You can see it there. Let's see if it focus. I get the camera to focus. It did do some clogging on me. But the color is beautiful and two coats covers. This was, remember, a purple base and that was a multicolored blue and brown and all of that. And it, the coverage was very well. So I would recommend this one. And moving on to these two. We're in the same color. So this was the chalk by what Kiehl's, I guess is how you pronounce it. And this color, this is the color top. So as you can see, it's pretty true to color. Very true to color, as a matter of fact. And this is the second coat of this, of the blue vase. And it looks fairly decent. I like it. I think it's definitely my third runner up. But I will say the coverage on it is not as strong as uh, the other two, my top two. The coverage on it, oh man, it's, it's a, you can tell it's a lot thinner. You can still see some of the blues. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but I can see it. I'll show it to you better in my but you can still see some of the blue under it. And this one, you can still see some of the silver. I, I love the color, and it would probably take three coats for this one to work well, because again, it's not as full coverage as my other two that I had, but it is a pretty color. And as far as this one was very runny, okay? The nozzle, this is why my finger is this way. This was the main reason. 
it was this way this one was very 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 runny so i did not like that at all so be wary of that and look at there that's from it getting on my finger and i was like trying to get it off my finger so be very careful for that one okay now let's move on to this one this one was what's this rustoleum multicolor texture and this is the cap so this is how i was hoping it would look so far after the second coat this is how this base looks this was a pink base i'm gonna be honest with you guys i think it needs another coat but again i wanted to just give you a result after two coats this is how it looks it does need to dry i just sprayed it again so i will show you guys the results once it dries now as far as spraying this one this one is so hard to spray like it takes all of my manpower to get this to spray like seriously like it takes all of my strength oh god oh i can't get it oh this is really hard and i had to end up using my thumb a few times just to get it to spray and even then it was still hard sometimes i had to do two hands because i don't know if it's just the nozzle or what but it's really hard to spray guys but as you can see it kind of have like some sand effects in it I can give you guys better pictures once it dries and I can get it in some light so you can see it. Now this one was the stone coarse texture. This is the cap for it. So this is how it's supposed to turn out. This is how it has turned out so far after two coats. My feelings on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, you guys. This one. Uh, the color i can still see all of the silver as a matter of fact so the paint color was not thick what's thick is this stuff that gives it its texture that is really thick so it didn't give me enough color because i can still see all of my silver as a matter of fact but it like adds this coarse texture topping to it so we're gonna see how it dries so in my pen the best sprayer as far as spraying and ease of spraying is definitely this one here out of all of them from sitting here doing them has definitely been this one hands down favorite and then once they dry i'm gonna show you guys the favorite finishes all right guys here are the final dry results so here's this one which is the crayon chalky finish in the color of three and i love it look at that it is so pretty it's nice and chalky and matte i love that so this is still my number one out of all of these. Um, again, it's sprayed easy and it, the finish is nice. And this is two uh, coats. Moving on to my next favorite was this one. This is some texture. This is my second favorite. Uh, it coats very nicely. It's also textured. There it is. It's also textured. Can you guys see the texture on it? Which I really like. Look at that. That is pretty. This is so pretty. Um, this was a purple vase. And that's the color of it now. Coats very well. And this was that multicolored vase. I really like that. I really like it. So this was definitely my second favorite. I like the color and the coat as well. So this was my third favorite, I believe. Is this chalk spray paint? And this is the finish of it. So I don't know if you guys remember, but when it was wet, I could see through it from that second coat. But this actually dried very chalky and I can't see through it now that it's dried. So I really like it now. So I'm glad of that. And then this was the vase that was silver. Um, this is it now. The chalky white finish. I really like that one. Now this one... This was the texture, so that's how it's supposed to come out. It actually did, if you look at the coating of this, it actually did turn out like the top. And it actually gives like a cement vibe. Do you guys see that? It gives like a cement vibe, which is pretty cool. I really like it. Now this was really hard to spray, remember that. It's super difficult to spray out this, but it is worth it, especially, I think I'm gonna come back and do like a faux cement type of video. I didn't know it would turn out like that, but it's pretty cool. And the ones that was not so good was this one. The 
this is how this came out. Ew. Not that great, right? Now this one's not so bad, but I can see through it. I didn't get that bottom good either. But yeah, I didn't get the bottom good, but you can see through it. You see the pink there, that was gold. You can definitely see the pink under there. And this was two coats, so it would have needed another coat also. And this was just horrible. Um, did not do well at all. Now, yes, this vase was spray painted, but I've had previous spray painted vases before that I've redone. And they're just fine. I may try it again because I really like the color of this. This color is like pretty. This is um, serenity blue. I really like the color. So I think I'm going to try it again on something else. And we'll see how it turns out. It may need it just another coat because some of the areas came out okay. But I know like with this one it needs another coat. So it could just be you have to do multiple coats with those. I don't know. But there you go. Those are my finishes. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned for my next video and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, let me know below your feelings and if you've worked with these spray paints before or which one is your favorite. I'd love to know. Till the next time.